massive welfare legitimacy rate. And I think it's time for that to end. I don't think we have to have a forced sterilization or a uterus in every pot, but I think what we need to do is start requiring them to practice birth control. If they don't want to do that, then their welfare should be cut off. No, hello. Well, first, let me tell you something, all right, pal? In New York State, I won't direct this to the entire nation and you folks out in Los Angeles or any place else. Let me just say, in New York State, the average time one stays on welfare is two years, first of all. Less than 1% are chronic welfare collectors. I might remind you, sterilization is permanent. And the average size of a welfare family is three people. So welfare mothers with lots of kids is a myth. Baby, I'm as far to the right as anyone else. But, you know, I just don't see welfare mothers having 16 kids so they can get more welfare because all you get is an extra 40 bucks a month. Got any kids of your own? Not two children, yeah. Tried to feed them on 40 bucks a month? The point is, it's not the point of how much money their welfare check is received. You're right, the children will cost more than the additional money they receive. But they see that as an incentive. The welfare check being increased is an incentive to them for more money. Oh, also, right. they also qualify for more food stamps, and I think the food stamp program is wrong. We have so much food stamp abuse, people going into supermarkets, we've all, most of us, I think, have seen it, where people go in, they'll buy the best cuts of meat, or they'll buy other expensive items. Yeah, well, shame on our poor people! Well, You're well, not entitled wait, to anything good! Well, Eat hot dogs! Wait, wait. <laughs> Well, the middle class person goes in and tries to make ends meet. I don't think anybody should starve in this country. But I don't think we need a, a, a food stamp program. By the way, food stamps can be exchanged because they have a monetary value. They've also been used for things like drugs and every other type of vice that you can think of. I think we need a brown bag kind of charity where people can go in and get regular food stuffs they need. There should be no starvation David, in America. But let, food me, stamps let me, let me tell you, wait a second. You talking about welfare mothers and about uh, too many kids and that. It's so my understanding that the KKK kicked your lily white ass out because you were spending more time between the sheets than with the sheets on. Is that right? Oh. Now, now you're a good-looking guy, and I imagine you probably found yourself into a lot of those sheets that you didn't wear. Well, I tell you, sir, <laughs> I tell you, maybe I should have found myself into a few more. I think the point is I was never kicked out of... I was never kicked out of any, any, any Klan group, per se. I started the National Association for the Advancement of White People because I think it's a better approach. I've never advocated violence or illegality, but with the Klan, you carry a lot of, of baggage. Oh, I think the media really has produced a great deal of it. I think the Klan was a great organization that saved the South in the Reconstruction period. I'm not ashamed of my activities in the Klan. I acted legally and properly. I think that at some point, in this country that white people need to begin to defend their rights. Affirmative action is discriminating against white people. We find, again, a massive welfare program and a great deal of it's oriented toward blacks. We find crime racking our cities and racking our states. And I think that, again... It's all can, blacks, right? It's not all blacks, but a great proportion of it is, yes, sir. But that's great proportion and, is and black we, on all black, we hear about too, media is, uh, Great proportion is black on black, too. Well, a lot, of, a lot of it is black on black, but that doesn't excuse the great amount of crime that's been visited upon white people in this country. And black people, they stick together. They have their organizations. And I think the NAAW... Although well, no one says there's anything wrong with having the National Association for the Advancement of White People. Well, that's what I have. I'm not and that's what we're that. working for. I, but I'd love to read your platform, all right? Well, you're welcome to read it anytime. Yeah. Dr. Gloria Toot. Uh, Dr. Toot, uh, as the Republican Woman of the Year in 1977, as a member of uh, numerous administrations, you have sat so ladylike and silent what in the world has happened to your tongue? Well, I was trying to remember that one thing that's great about this country is freedom of speech and the fact that what he says is rather ridiculous. I really want to call it stupid, really, but uh, I'll be kind and say ridiculous. He has the right to say it. Uh, but I would hope that not many people support it. And from what I understand, the size of his organization, he may never want to indicate... From what, what I understand, the size of a lot of things may not, not indicate small. that he had any uh, real luck. Let me, uh, let me go... Let me introduce you, let me introduce you to a gentleman by the name of Tom Metzger, who is the founder of the White Aryan Resistance. Now, Tom, could you support David Duke for president? I'm not supporting anyone for president. We do not like any of the candidates, period. And we're sitting this one out. We're showing That'll us. That'll probably we're be voting, extremely upsetting. We're voting no confidence. <laughs> well, until these turkeys start talking about white workers and workers in general a lot more, we have no use for them. 
As far as the welfare situation, the largest percentage of people on welfare are white people and white women, and we support those white women that are falling through the cracks of the system. What about the black women who are falling through the cracks? I am interested right now in supporting the largest percentage of welfare people in the United States and poor people that are white. I see no white you welfare won't, won't mothers represented blacks? here. You won't support the blacks? The blacks, the they've got all kinds of leaders and groups. They're yelling, they're screaming, I'm screaming. I'd like to sterilize a few of these fat cat corporation people that keep building more bombs and uh, getting us into more uh, military operations overseas. But I would suggest that welfare <laughs> recipient white people are creating guerrilla warfare against the system. I tell them to take all they can get before some uh, Asian gets it or somebody from outside the country because it's all going to be gone pretty soon. David, back to you. What's your platform? I mean. For a minute, I understand you have an unusual position on what the government should be doing with welfare mothers. Well, I think we need two things. I think we need work fairs that are welfare. I think we should require able-bodied welfare recipients to do work to get their welfare checks. We find the roles go down rapidly when you do that. And again, I think that we've got to break the cycle of poverty. One statistic How do you that, break it, David? Well, one statistic you didn't mention is that, that, that a great percentage, almost 60% of the welfare recipients today, have been a gener it's been a generational problem, but their folks, their parents have been on the, on, the, on the system, on the dole also. You break it by going in there, when they go in to qualify for welfare, the average woman who wants to receive welfare, she should go into an orientation on birth control. This should be required, and she should agree to make to sign a statement that she will practice birth control. Or Does abstain. white women as well they're as black women? Sure, they're not going to abstain, but they should... Wait they should, a minute. We have seen 60 to 70 million white children aborted in this country since 1972. That is a form of sterilization also. Well, I'm opposed that to is abortion. more than were killed in the entire Second World War. That, that is more. I agree with that. But what and I'm we're saying, not going to tolerate the decrease in the white population by pushing birth control to white if women. If someone wants to receive welfare benefits from, this, from society, I think they have a responsibility at the same time to the hardworking <coughs> people who are trying to provide for their children and who are paying these taxes who can't afford children. Well, let's find out where the upper employment. middle class are is shipping that, the jobs out of the question. country. Does your platform call for I full employment? I think the opportunity for employment must be there. And you're aware that, that we can't right now give jobs well, to everybody who wants a job. I, you're I, aware of that. i tell you what I believe. I believe there's a lot of people, and I certainly think there are many people who want jobs and aren't getting jobs, but there's also a lot of people in this country right now who don't want What's to work. What's your formula for creating jobs as a candidate? If you want to take people off of welfare, if you want everyone to work, then how are you going to create the jobs? All right, first of all, we have to have a program where we, the, the best qualified, get jobs. Now, how are you going to... Well, we've got to protect there. our country from the foreign trade that's coming in. That's the first thing. There's Are you no aware such thing as, that the only time, no thing as free the trade. only we time cannot, this country has had full employment we cannot, is at time of war? We, we, Are you can, aware of that? I'm you trying to answer you, We're going to come back in you, just a second because this is becoming very boring, all right? Political platforms usually are. Stand with us. I have, a, uh, I have a question for Dr. Toot, but uh, I have a question for Dr. Toot, but first I want to go, David, are you in a rush for something here? Looking at your watch? Oh, oh yeah. No, but, uh, you told my producers that you were in favor of sterilization. No, I didn't. Of welfare mothers. I'm not, I'm not opposed to the principle. I mean, we have sterilization right now among college graduates exceeds the use of the pill as a birth control method. So on a voluntary basis, I'm certainly not opposed to it. And if that's the way they want to practice birth control, that's fine. But I certainly am not for a mandatory sterilization. I've never said that. All right, well, uh, we've heard an awful lot of talk in the racist communities about that. Uh, Dr. Tu, what goes through your mind when you hear two white racists trying to figure out how to sew up the love canal of uh, America's uh, welfare mothers? Sickies. You know, they're just, they're not practical. They're not realistic. They're not even aware what the medical cost would be to do that. That's number one. Uh, but the, the, the pro approach is not rational. The problems that we have in America economically cannot be solved with the platform this gentleman has. In fact, I don't even think he has a platform. Let me if go to the welfare. Let me go, let me go to some of the welfare. Not, not, only, not only is uh, reducing the birth rate important to the middle class taxpayer, it's important to the minority person. 
because these children are born in a terrible condition, child abuse, crime, drugs, nothing, and, and, and we spend... Nothing is going to justify ma the sterilization that you're proposing. we spend 30 times more on welfare today than we spent just 25 years ago in this country. You but have wait, more people today we, than yeah, you had 35 years ago. 35 times more people. You have more people today. 30, Bear that wait, in mind. We've got, we've got 30 times more people. Wait a second. We I've have more poverty. We have more poverty to today. We have more crime. We have more but drug you're not abuse. Solving it. We have a worse hate. educational system. You're not solving and it. Ma'am, this isn't hate to talk it about science hate. and what's it going on. You may not recognize if you it. Can, as if such. the birth rate. It's not healthy. The reason why we can't help the I'm just, poor. I'm just saying it's not healthy. The reason why we can't help the With poor. With your attitude, you can't. Ma'am, let me finish. The reason well, why I've we. I've been listening to you. Ma'am, the reason why. First 50 minutes. The first 50 minutes. We are. The reason why. The reason why I can't talk to her, she's not listening. The reason why we can't help the poor for the grand dragon is because is because the welfare birth rate is exceeding our ability to pay for it. The welfare birth rate is higher than our ability to pay for it. Wait a second, I want to hear. I want to hear from. No, no, I'm going to be with you in a second, Cyril. I want to hear from Mr. Metzger. Wanted to say something, and I know this has to be urgent. We, well, it's one white race. We were told in the 60s and the 70s that if we stopped the birth rate, lowered it, we'd be in a lot better shape. We'd have a higher standing, a standard of living. That was told the whites and blacks. What happened? Sure, the whites did it. The blacks didn't do it too much. Then the third world invasion came and they filled every blank spot of every six, of one of those 60 million kids aborted with someone from the third world. You see, does that body right. someone from the third world big, coming in here? It does when they take the place of the sons and daughters of the men and women who fought and have lived and worked for this country all their life. Amen. Well, they couldn't have they couldn't have fought too hard if they aborted their kids, could they? Huh? <laughs> There's a lot of people that believe that's the only way out of their economic situation. Now they say what's people your are better... program for out of the economic situation? What well, number one is uh, the defense spending. Cut the hell out of the so-called. Uh, war with all the weapons and all of that kind of all right, stuff. What else do you cut? The, the uh, corporations punish them when they move factories out of this country mm -hmm. and force them if they're going to live here, work here, make lots of money here, they're going to employ American people. Mm -hmm. And then you won't have the people needing to get abortions all the time. That's the way it should be. I'll say something else. I think it's the uh, racial motivation. Man, I've been accused system. of being I've been accused of being simplistic, but that's absolutely <laughs> unbelievable. There's a racial motivation oh, in the welfare well, system too. Are. Morris Jeff is the head of the National Black Welfare Workers Association. It was asked by the New Orleans Times Picayune, what would he do about the illegitimate birth rate? He says, well, look around. We wouldn't control the city of New Orleans except for our birth rate. He himself talked about the fact that whites maybe should be concerned about the increasing minority birth How rate in America. I think I think I think the disagree. I think the well, liberal let me, hear, let me hear from a welfare mother, all right? Go ahead, ma'am. Um, I'm not a welfare mother, but I'm a welfare I'm a representative. Welfare all right, you're a representative, okay, a representative you represent a lot of welfare, welfare mothers mother. we have. Yes. All right. Women are on welfare. They're you lots. represent them to the welfare boards? I'm an advocacy to the welfare board of welfare mothers. All right, uh, let me ask you a question now, because this is a story that happened to a friend of mine in Sacramento, California. He had a hamburger stand near uh, any black community in a black area, all right, near a university. And when he had the young ladies working for them, he paid $5.50 an hour. A welfare lady used to come in there once a month and talk to his people and tell them how they would make more money on welfare than they would by getting his five fifty because they had to take out taxes, they had to pay for their own medical care, and if they were on welfare, they'd be doing better. And do you do that type of thing? No. Okay. No, I don't. Because that is an abuse, as you that know. That is an abuse. There are some people on welfare who have a need to be there. Welfare was initiated just for that fact, for emergency assistance. It's called relief. Emergency relief, mm -hmm. as you want to call it. However, these women should not be forced to take birth control pills have their uterus removed and cooked in a pot, nor should they, <laughs> nor should they, <laughs> their bodies, they should have the right to do what they want, not to be forced. Now, as Mr. Downey said, mothers on welfare, they, they are not having 10, 12, 15 children 
the average woman on welfare have 1.2 children. That, okay, now, that average out, that average out, that average out to two children. I wish well, I, I can women tell you, well, let, me, let me give you the actual, let me give you the uh, actual the figures, all right? 73.5% of welfare families have no more than two children. 30% uh, have been on for less than two years, 50% for less than four years. But let me tell you what that's the real the white problem ones. is. Pardon me? No, that average comes no, down with the white, the white ones. ones. That's, that's all, all of them. That average is out with the no, white ones. That's the all of them, Tom. It's total that's all. Let me tell you. Well, well, let me tell you what a real problem is, all right? I don't know if you know it, and I don't know if you know it. I mean, we're all trying to be humanitarian here, all right? The real problem is they won't let the father stay with exactly. the family. Precisely. All right? Martin? If the father could stay with the family then you wouldn't have the problems that you got. But we created the problems with the broken families in this country. The Pablum Puking Democrats! Where? You know damn well where. Not we. Martin, Wait a Martin, second. Martin, Martin, next Martin, we're going to talk, Martin, next we're gonna talk to this Father-Son Act, all right, that wants to set up their own state, an all-white state. Stay with us. Cyril, I'm coming back to you. Come on, let's go! Transportation for the Morton Downey Jr. Show, furnished by Redwood Limousine. When in New York, call... Let me read something for you. Let me read something for you. This says Duke's campaign bid seen shaking up Democrats and GOP. Good Lord, who's kidding, all right? <laughs> now, here's from a magazine that Mr. Duke is quoted. I don't hate blacks. They've got good points. They're like children. They're innocent and they're cruel. They can't control themselves. You see the way they bop along with their radios, no discipline. They're, in they're instinctive. They're instinctive. That's the, why they're good in sports and music. They've got great rhythm. Whether their rhythm is so great, what are you worried about them having so many children? <laughs> Yeah, I, unfortunately, you have a, you have a number of people who the only way they can be seen is not through talent because they don't have it. Therefore, they make extreme statements, and that's their way of gaining visibility. Nobody now does not say that our welfare system is not horrible. It's there, it's in place, and what happens with government is once you put something in place, it's hard to get rid of. But what you have to do is sit down and design a method of improving it. And improving it does not mean to deprive others of their constitutional rights. His rights are being respected. Here he is, network television, saying outlandish things. But the rights of women, not just black women, women in general, he would just, with no concern at all, deprive them of it. Madam, like they've already deprived, like they've already deprived Women don't the have the right to attack the race. Madam right Lucille, Lucille, no. I want Lucille, you're going to go after this don't lady. Have the right. I know she's been out of shape. It's not black women. The issue isn't white women, Hispanic, or whatever. The issue is women on welfare. And it's not fair that women on welfare are talked down, they're low self-esteem, they're unmotivated. That is not true. There are many mothers on welfare because they were gainfully employed. There is not adequate daycare facilities for their children. How in the hell can a mother go out here and work when her child is not being provided That's for? That's right, ma'am. And if she has more children, she's not going to be able to work. Welfare. And if she yeah. has more what children, are you telling they're, not, so. they're not going to have the money. If she has more illegitimate children, are you willing to if open you... your office and give out condoms to men who have sex with welfare women to also help keep the birth rate down? Hell Are you yeah. ever considering doing that? I know hardly no. anybody. No. I don't. Have you ever considered doing that? The problem in America for American women and men is the fact that corporations and the government are not providing places where children can be taken in the morning, as is done in Europe, where they have good care, where they're getting a good education, while both the mother and father, if necessary, work. Man. What is needed is a place for those who wish to work to take why care. Can't Man, why can't, can't, keep why them can't private industry do this? We why do we all have to turn to the government? Martin, Martin. Cyril, let simple, me hear Cyril. Simple, simple, simple. Cyril's been trying to talk all Grand night. Grand Dragon, ahead, just one second. First of all, you're looking at 
is the son of a welfare mother. And we're not a 1.2 family. Nine children followed me, okay? Ooh. All members of society, gainfully employed, uh, paying our taxes. And my mother is a candidate for a doctoral degree. Okay, let's, let's get that set. Welfare mother. Cyril, incidentally, is with the Congress Mr. of Racial Equality. Mr. Grand Dragon President, I want to give this to you. The way to cut the cycle of poverty is to create jobs. How do you do it? By making every welfare recipient, every welfare mother a worker. Give them a job and a contract. That job and that contract is to administer that, those funds to their children. Okay? You give them a contract. What are the elements of the contract? They have to maintain the children clean. They have to make sure they go to school. Now, I'm not talking about giving dole money out. I'm talking about creating a job for those so-called welfare mothers. Call them workers. Okay, how do you create a job? Welfare you know, you create it, and you make yes. those welfare counselors. You, you make those welfare create counselors. create a job and have the taxpayer pay for it, You right? make those welfare counselors. You make those welfare counselors contract compliance offices, and you reduce your spending there. And you put a time limit on all that. Why? And before you know it, you'll see those so-called welfare mothers who can now buy daycare services. Okay? I'm not talking about creating free services anywhere. Why do you, you try to make that it money? appear like it's just a black problem? Well, you deal with the white problem. Where are the white welfare... <laughs> well, you deal with the white, white problem. Where are the white poor in this country than black? I know white mothers who are on welfare and they, they can't pay their rent. This idea is ridiculous. We I know a lot of them on welfare. On they try to get the jobs, they can't pay the rent. Women. Women. It's not enough wages to pay the rent. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about women. Women. We are talking about women. You are colorblind. You are right. and work hard for women. I don't what care what color they are. Why didn't you bring some with you? What? I did. You did. I did. I did. I got some. Show me one I white did. welfare mother. I, did. I, did. I, did. That's, that's I don't see any. Right? You want all the welfare. <laughs> I tell white <laughs> White welfare mothers to go no get it. Stop. White yes, yes, welfare yes, yes, mothers yes, get yes, it before Why don't you, you shut up and let her talk? Why did you not bring There's more white, white welfare, welfare, welfare mothers. White welfare go after it. If where you know, it's going to be the Puerto Rican. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? We cannot divide the system. We cannot Bank divide the this system. rotten where, system. But where Why are your white welfare mothers? Where the are they? Why did you not bring your white welfare mothers here? Why did you bring your white welfare mothers here? Why did you bring your white welfare Wait a second, sweetheart. Lucille, give me one the second. Here. Why should we even. David, shut up! Why should we divide the system? Why shouldn't we just. Why shouldn't we just create a total new system? Why divide it? And how's this for an because idea? Because there's a lot of difference between idea. black welfare and white welfare. Oh, what, what the is hell is there? Is? What is it? Because the whites are all looking for the jobs. There is a difference. The whites are all looking for the jobs. They're trying. Because the whites have a better black chance to get the jobs, don't they? Oh, no. They have a chance to get the jobs. What's the difference? What's I'm the telling difference? every white welfare mother to take every dime they can get before the third world gets it. And I'm telling every black one to kick his ass. We'll be back in just a minute. Come back. I'm not the kind of girl who's just home. Listen. I want to I want to introduce you to a gentleman you're just gonna love, all right? I want to I want to introduce you to a guy. His name is John Metzger. He's the son of Tom. John is the president of the John's the president of the Aryan Youth Movement. Now, John is the founder of that organization. Give the poor guy a chance. You look like a 
normal, red-blooded American boy. Whatever would possess you to suck around daddy with that kind of stuff? Well, I'll get, I'll get directly to the, uh, to the main topic of the subject. I won't even bother responding to you. Uh, people who don't really... Oh, I'm just so upset I almost wet my pants. See, people who don't care about themselves and are lazy and, and get money off the welfare fair system, they shouldn't, uh, they shouldn't get the money. But I don't want the government coming in and directing these programs because in a while, just because you look this way, they'll say you're not going to get this kind of money. What I'm saying is people that have a bad break because of all the illegal immigration, 30 million, in 1985, 30 million white kids over the age of 25 had no education at all through high school. That was seven times higher than the black men. And any time you see it on the news Whose reports, it's always percentages. Whose fault was that? Affirmative action, that's who. No, no, no. No, 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 you don't need affirmative action to get into school. I'm not trying. The education system wasn't shut down. I'm not trying to represent all people. I feel it's my duty to represent white people. Evidently, you are. And that white people really don't have that break. And I'm here to represent them. Box 1784 in Florida, California. Let me hear. Now, let me hear. Affirmative action is welfare. Let me hear from the white people. Affirmative action is welfare. Does John represent? Affirmative action. But we yeah, well, we're we're okay. Okay. How about we're the thousands of letters we, we get off these shows and all these other ourselves. shows? That See, they won't stand up right now because there's a lot of peer pressure out there, but oh, there are yeah, people out there who agree. Oh, no. See, I, I could come in here... See, I could come in here and I feel all right because I know there's people out there I'm representing. Here's the only thing. Here's the only thing. Here's the only thing these guys respond to, right? You love it, right? You like that, huh? You like that, huh? Listen, this is the most massive program, the most massive program of racial discrimination in America's history is going on right now against white people. It's called affirmative action. It goes on every major corporation. Every business, school, everywhere. It's discrimination. It's discrimination was wrong against minorities in years past. It's just wrong against white people. You have always been And it's going on in massive scale. It's about time we spoke out. You better talk into that, pal. No one's hearing you. You've got to talk into that. Affirmative action. Well, let me let me hear, let me hear from an educated person, Dr. Tude. All right, this guy obviously isn't. What we need is a nation that has full employment, a nation that doesn't spend its budget on armaments. And I'm so glad that now Russia and this country are going to realize that spending money on armaments rather than increasing our productivity is silly. Well, Dr. We that's another show. Whoa, whoa. That's we another need, show. I'm not sure we didn't education. get snookered in that one. Educating people. To work, there's no need for everyone to finish school and be a functional illiterate and have no skills. We have got to increase the productivity of this country. You like what she's saying? We've got to have Would you welcome her into your organization? Who are willing to Would you? To have she can come and speak to me so anytime and even be on my TV show. Can she be in your organization? She's saying the things you like. Does she want to help white people? Sure she can associate with us. Anybody wants to help white working people is welcome with us. I, I, I would rather have you join my organization of good Americans. I've been the guest of a lot of black Americans. people. We don't limit it to anybody. All Americans. All Americans. All Americans. What I want to know is where the NAACP is. Where is the NAACP on illegal immigration? How come the NAACP never got into the fight over the border problem? How come the NAACP? How come they don't get into it? What you're arguing is not even true. Wait, 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 w
That's all you got to do. Have you I said, said the same thing he said. You said the same thing he said. But you won't admit have it. You heard any? You won't admit it. We got bad schools because let's, nobody admitted it. If you let's do that. Let's, let's, do that. Let's, let's, let's do that on another show. Okay. All right, let's do that on another okay. show. You like Jesse Jackson? Stop it in there, look. Sit down. Now let's get some. Let's get some comments. I can believe her if she's willing to say yes. I'm for equal rights for all. If the best qualified, the person who works the hardest to get the best grades, they should get the scholarship or the job or the promotion. If you're opposed to affirmative action, then I can believe that you're for all this people. Right, you Are you opposed to affirmative action? I'm opposed to quotas, but I am not opposed to a system that addresses the needs oh. of people. And now, it, for quotas, I do not support them. Oh, I, However, I no. did... Wait a minute, let me finish. I did take an oath. Let me hear her, let me hear her, Metzger, when you take an oath. I did take an oath to support the Constitution and protect the rights of all citizens. And they were not simply minority rights that I was concerned with. I am the person who was responsible for women throughout the country to be able to break loans. I can't put blinders on. I cannot think only as a black. The man think that way. I cannot. Then, ma'am, you should be. Cannot be great ma'am, as long as we have blinded on. Ma'am, then you should. Exit. Well, then you Exit should be. No you should be in a white civil rights movement today because it's white rights that are being lost they in America. Massive discrimination. You know what? Hey, you know what? Hey, no, John. No. You know what? I want to go to the people and the welfare mothers next. Let's talk to them. Come on. You're all right. Now, I want to, let's talk to a well. Wait a second, sweetheart. Let me talk to you. You're a welfare mother, am I yes, correct? Yes, I am. Okay, if you have a question, ask And me. I'll tell you what, on top of the fact that I was a welfare mother, not only did I used to get AIDS and work at the same time, raise seven children, all right? But at the same time, I supported some of your women who you walked out on while you were laying underneath the sheet. Hello? None of our women. <laughs> You've been no, in this country. No, never heard no. my life. You are about to Look, 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 lady. Between you look, and lady, I. Look, lady, all we're asking you to no. do is no, while no, you no, receive no, welfare no, no. benefits, no. that you don't I have work. children. When did you work. Work. Why, she got, work. why should the people what did you who do work hard for in America be forced to finance your your illegitimacy? Why? What did you do? You took Why should he take the money from people who are trying to pay for the children's education? How long have you been in this country? Understand me, because I was working. How long have you been in this country? I was working. Yeah, where are you from? I was working. I'll tell you where, where I'm from. You, where were you born? I was born in the island of Puerto Rico, which your country gets part of what we have. Do you understand? We constantly fight. Oh, That's the whole problem, ma'am. Native, Native Americans who can't even afford children are forced to find out. You're running out of time. Wait a second. The woman you're running for president. Wait a second. 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 Wait I'm still fighting to get a job because of my nationality or either my color because if you look at me, obviously I'm not white, well, but it doesn't make a difference as to what kind of job I need. It wouldn't make any difference you can if qualify I was making for two, uh, you, you can qualify for two affirmative action programs, Hispanic and minority. I'm my black. Ma'am, listen, let me ask you, ma'am, have, have, you, tried, have you tried to get jobs at any of the fast food places? Yes, I have, and I'll tell you what. Ma'am, there's I a common only, place for welfare. Welfare is not Shut up, David, for a minute. I have taken tax for the government jobs. Do you understand? And the only What's thing is if you only have one job spot open and 20,000 people apply for the job and only one person okay. can get it, then what? Let me go to this lady now. Let me, let, let's get as many people. Let's get as many people up there. Go. No, Where do you come from? We don't want Puerto Rico. Take it back. You don't want Puerto Rico? 
We used to believe her. Hagen's there. Come here. Wait a second, sweetheart. Zip it. Zip it. Let this lady have a chance. Zip it. Go. Thank you. All right. First I always think it's good for you to have these Duke and Metzger guys on so people can see what real jerks they really are. That's true, man. Okay. But anyway, to get down to something serious, I wanted to um, go back to Cyril's plan What you say about her hair, What? Go out and continue. Look, you're Does irrelevant. About his hair you're irrelevant. He Let me go on. my point. his hands so now let me concentrate on what i'm saying i want to elaborate a little bit more on what cyril said because i think that the plan that he proposed for welfare is very good in any kind of situation you have both good and you have bad in the welfare system i'm afraid unfortunately you have more bad people more people abusing the system than really yeah, the necessary. Blacks, that's who. now let me go to Where cyril's plan and just elaborate just a little bit where's the white cyril's plan mother? of making the mothers I Mother. I would have. Yeah. We tried to get some white welfare mothers. Oh, yeah. When they heard you two oh. scum were going to be here, they didn't want to be identified with you. Cyril's plan. Cyril's plan of having a contract with the mothers, between the mothers and the government, okay, wherein they have certain guidelines to follow it. I would take it even one step further. I would say this. Yes, you have a time limit. And if you on, make it miss fast, one now. of the qualifications that you have to have, if you don't follow one of the procedures, such as making sure that your child goes to school on time, I think the child should be taken well, from I you. I got a better plan for you. Oh, I got a better plan. Let's see what you think of this one. Let's see what you think of this one. I got a better one for you. Tom, listen, listen, listen. People, clean up your act on TV, but go down to the street. Look at it. The question is not welfare. The question is not whether people can be helped in these programs. The question is the welfare birth rate. Why should a welfare well, mother right continue to have right illegitimate children? You want people to be sterilized? No, that's ridiculous. No, people I'm talking about practicing birth control. I'm talking about requiring them to practice sterilize Ronald Reagan. You know, now I'm going to be I'm going to be accused of being a communist for coming up this one. All right, but I've studied it. I put it to a mathematical program, and I've looked at it. Welfare is costing this country 166 billion dollars a year right now. All right. So, wait a second, wait a second, to wait a second, ah, shut up, will you? Uh, now, I say, and hear it through before you boo, I say every American family of four, and you prorated if it's less than four, every year receives, every American family, rich, poor, everything, $12,000 a year. The second $12,000 that they earn is free. The third 12, they pay back 50% of that for the loan of the 12. The second 12, or the fourth 12, they pay back 50%. They've now paid back. At $48,000 and up, you now start paying the 28% bracket. What does that do? It does two important things. Number one, it gives people the incentive to go to work, to become part of the system if they've been on welfare and been lazy, because now they have 12 and they can keep the next 12, all right? It takes those people and gives them incentive. Based on the model put together from some people at the University of Pennsylvania, this would bring back to the United States $109 billion of the money we're spending on welfare because it would come in productivity and taxes. And you can boo it and say it's no good, but goes. the pablum pukers haven't done anything goes. about it. The welfare money spent right back into the systems in the neighborhood. Let me tell the you something. The arms race money Let me goes tell you into something. the bank account. You want a separate state? Bank. You want a Did separate state? You, you want a separate state? Shut up. I'll tell you, I'll give them a separate state. Let's join some garbage scouts together and send this son of a bitch out on one. We'll be right back. Stand by. Some of the guests of the Morton Downey Jr. Show stay at the Meadowlands Hilton Hotel. Matchmaker. I want to come. I want to come to the Cowboys first. Go ahead, Cowboy. Um, I just want to tell you, you two don't act like you want to help welfare. You just are like... 
for the white people, only white people. You know, we should all work together in this country. It ain't white and We're black. It's about all together. The largest now, you're talking about white people. The largest amount of welfare people are white. Let me hear from this man. Mort, why didn't you give David a proper chance to display his candidates? Why don't I give one? His proper, you know, his chance to display everything. You didn't let him talk or anything like that. Are you kidding? Oh, no. His oh, no. tongue oh, no. dug a hole. Oh, no. like, oh, his tongue dug a hole. Of the 1,500 signatures he needed to get on the ballot. You single-handedly yeah. did that. You ought to have your head examined. Yeah. Yeah. You ought to have it examined. Yeah. Not because he's a racist yeah. or nothing like that. Because you wouldn't give an actual chance to let him say anything yeah. other principles. He said everything he you had to say. You wouldn't give him a chance to say it. What do you want to give someone a chance when they use their tongue as a shovel, man? Uh, I'll give him a chance now. 30 seconds to wind it up. Well, look, the, the point is this, you know, I, I'm not an advocate. I don't believe in white supremacy. I think I believe in a lot of white stupidity. There's a lot of white people today. Wait a second, face... let me hear them. Let me hear them. Let me hear them. There's a massive program of racial discrimination going on against white people in this country. They expect millions, and nobody's concerned about it. And as Tom says, many of these people, many of the poor in America are white, but they face discrimination in scholarships and jobs. They work hard. They produce hard. But there's no concern. There's no moral outrage about discrimination against young white people. And welfare, we didn't talk, I didn't talk. Sure, people deserve welfare. People should be helped in our society. But that doesn't mean that hardworking That's people can't afford children. That's your 30 seconds. Children. You got it, Tom. Look, yeah. Tom's got it. First of all, I want to say hi to all the Brooklyn skinheads out this way. And second, yeah. love you, love you, love you, love you. Love you. Love you. Hey, hey. And, and second, I want to say all you white, all you white poor out there in the audience, we know who you are. We know second. who what your problem is, and we're with you. Get uh, all the money you Let me you tell you something, folks. <laughs> let me tell you something, because I want Gloria to say, wait a second. You know how you tell the difference between a white Aryan and a KKK? Huh? You take two pieces of crap, throw them against the wall. The piece that sticks is the KKK. Gloria, finish it up. You got 30 seconds. One. I think that to air a show like this has, is important for people. But I think what is more significant is the fact that we realize that this is a great country. It's got a lot of problems. But I'm sitting here between two men like this, and I can sit here and know that the audience can think. I'm listening to what you're saying. And that is what is important. But if we ever have a government, if we ever have a government like he wants and like he wants, it will not be America. I tell you, gang, you've heard some of the great hate mongers of our time tonight. They've exposed themselves once again as racist pigs with no constituency. We've also seen again that welfare recipients aren't the problem in this country. These are the problems. These dirt like you. You're dirt. Good night, everybody.